Want to know the secret to increase sales? Get your customers involved. Engage them. Give them the material to become your foot soldiers for your products or solutions. That's how you increase sales. Knowing, breathing, and staying customer-centric. I'm Deborah Horton, Senior General Sales Manager for Yellow Media Group. And today, we're focusing on the art of selling. None of us can read minds, but with sales, you have to be able to anticipate your customers' needs. Whether it's face-to-face -face or developing solutions for the ever-changing digital environment, forecasting and predicting are key. Have you ever realized that when you visit your retail websites that you love, you more often than not end up with more than what you came for? I know I do. Many of today's experiences online are curated to anticipate our needs and they start sharing recommendations, similar products, look-alike ideas, things like persons who bought this also bought that. This is called adaptive selling and it adapts by asking questions, reading the customer's reactions and adjusting accordingly for each customer. People buy from who they like. That decades-old saying will forever inform good sales tactics. However, in this new environment, focusing on the value of what you're providing, not only in your products and services, but also as a business, is really important. The main idea is that if your products are grounded in great value, your services are amazing, and your business processes are streamlined, then converting leads into sales is the easy part. Hot on the heels of that last tip is something we really have to hone in on when talking about sales as an art, as a masterpiece. No true masterpiece is ever complete without each individual knowing exactly what the artist wanted them to feel when they engaged with it. Focusing on that, experiences of your sale process is paramount and investing in those things that help your business be more efficient and really really set you apart take for example after sales identify the ways you can improve your welcome experience by ensuring that everyone receives a personalized call or email simplifying how your customers receive the details of their contract something like a customer orientation the scope and all the other info that they need that lets them know from the start that working with you is going to be seamless and that they have your attention. The experience over time, no matter how brief that customers have with your business is what will make or break a sale, no matter how great your product or service is. What's quickly becoming the benchmark for success for many businesses? Brand advocacy and loyalty. You can lose business if you're not relatable, engaging, and you're always going for the hard sell. So here's what you do. Create representation and inclusivity. Your customers should be able to see themselves in your brand and in your messaging. Combine that with the previous tips and everything you're learning in this entire series, you'll master the art of selling. So if you need help, advice, resources, anything, digital solutions, to help you achieve any of the things we've discussed today. Give us a call, drop us a message, or comment on any of our socials, and we'll be able to help. We have a wide range of solutions we're just itching to introduce to you and help you create your business masterpiece. I'm Deborah Horton, and this is your guide to the art of selling.